Welcome back to Blacks in Motion. Now let's go ahead and tackle these final three categories in comparing the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers as we preview the NBA Finals. Talking about each other's bench. Now, who has the better bench? I'm going to have to go with the Golden State Warriors. Look, they get a lot of quality minutes from guys like Andre Iguodala, Sean Livingston, and also Leonardo Barbosa. Now, this is my problem with Cleveland. Can you name anybody off their bench? Are any of those guys getting any minutes? No, not really. You know, that team was kind of put together out of nowhere, and I just don't believe that they have enough depth to actually challenge the Golden State Warriors once you start bringing in those substitutions. I mean, the Golden State Warriors even have a guy named David Lee who was the cornerstone of that team a couple of years ago. He actually can't get enough minutes because there's so, other, so many other quality guys on that bench for the Golden State Warriors. Now, moving on to coaching, I'm going to definitely have to give this advantage to the Golden State Warriors and Steve Kerr. Why? Because David Blatt is the coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't know if about you, but I don't even believe that he's fully the head coach. That might be LeBron James might have more influence as a coaching mechanism on that team. Steve Kerr has proved that he can actually excel the Warriors deeper into the playoffs, something that Mark Jackson couldn't do. But I kind of have a bitter taste in my mouth about that because Mark Jackson didn't get MVP style play out of Steph Curry like Steve Kerr did. And I felt like he was fired prematurely. But then, either way, it doesn't matter. Steve Kerr is doing an amazing job with the Golden State Warriors. Now the final category, the X Factor category, you know, yes, Steph Curry is the MVP. And at any given time, this guy can hit shots from anywhere on the court. But the ultimate X Factor is still King James. That's right. Small four for the Cleveland Cavaliers, past MVP, best player on the planet. At any given time, he can hoist a whole team on his back and go and win a championship, something he learned how to do down in South Beach in Miami, how to take a team all the way to the end and do it by himself if he has to. So if we go back and calculate these categories that I just laid out for everybody, the Warriors have the advantage three to two, and that is my prediction. I believe the Golden State Warriors are going to defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, but this won't be just a straight roll over or a sweep or anything like this. Go ahead and look for this finals to go the full length of seven games. And Golden State are gonna, is going to have to pull off some heroics and pull off game seven back at home in Oakland. But hey, we all have to stay tuned starting June 4th and look at these finals to see if my prediction is correct. I think if you kind of lean my way, you'll be safe. But hey, Maybe you think my prediction's bad. Maybe you think my comparisons are totally off. Either way, I want to hear from you. Go ahead and contact me, Cliff, at blackvideonews.com. And please remember to always like this video right down there. But in the meantime, stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.